Hey there. Okay, so in this video, I am going to give you a super quick um, overview of how to run a successful online um, Facebook sale, which is going to increase your engagement. Um, <clears throat> all right, so first of all, what you're looking at right now on the screen is actually your P31 Candles and Creations main Facebook page. Um, so the thing you want to know about Facebook is that if you do any more than three posts per day, um, you can actually negatively impact your reach and your visibility just because of the Facebook algorithms. So what happens is, um, and especially if you're doing text only posts, so you want to make sure when you're doing posts that they um, include a social media type image with them like this, that's going to boost your engagement. So what happens is when people are cruising through your newsfeed, so any one of these 2,202 people that like your page, um, if they cruise past one of your posts or if there's multiple posts showing up in their newsfeed per day and they're not engaging, then Facebook considers that, that those people are then not interested in your page. And so in the future, they'll hide your posts from them, which is not a good thing. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping posts on your main page to three posts a day or less. Um, so what I recommend doing is actually, if you're gonna be doing more than one post or posting specific things all related to like one event or one sale is to create an online event, which we did for your online holiday sale. Um, so you can see that we changed the cover photo on your Facebook page to reflect your online holiday sale this will only be here through the duration of the sale. If somebody finds this post on your page, in the description, it will have the link to the event. So all of the traffic from the page is, is getting diverted to this event. The reason for that is because while the event is linked to your page, it has its own um, set of reach and insights and algorithms that can drive traffic to your page and you can post in there basically as much as you want without negatively Im impacting your main page's visibility rankings. So that's the reason I recommend posting in an event only relating to the sale. So inside of this event, you can see that it is the same cover photo that's on your main page. It has the different days listed as well as the times. And there is, um, Let's see here. So if we go in, we can actually click to this event. So right now what you're looking at is the insights. So this was just posted. Eight people have reached so far. Two people have viewed. Um, so you're going to want to keep all of the posts related to the sale within your Facebook event. So you can actually add a photo and we can say the first So let's say the first scent that you're going to release in here um, is the 2000. And let's say the first thing you're going to do is say, um, take a look at the 2017 um, holiday scents. Um, we'll be releasing special scents not available anywhere else, as well as the chance to name a new uh, brand new scent. Stay tuned. And then you're gonna, so when you're doing posts like this, you wanna keep it engaging, um, throw in some capital letters, some exclamation points, and in at the end of your post, so you wanna include a call to action in each of your posts. So um, you wanna like encourage engagement. And a simple way to do this for this post would be, what would, what scent below intrigues you the most? Um, stay tuned for the scent description on each scent. What scent below intrigues you the most? Or have you tried a scent? Which is your favorite? All right, so that's what I would do. And then I would, I'm gonna click post inside of this event, okay? So the really nice thing is that the graphic, the graphic can be shareable for people outside of the event. And you can post inside of this event as much as you want. So the thing that I'm gonna actually recommend, I'm gonna show you on the main page, 
um, is what we don't do <laughs> is the text only posts that aren't getting a lot of engagement. Um, let's see if I can find that here. Okay. So what I wouldn't recommend doing is the text posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these posts that you did and I'm going to create a graphic for each one of them and then we'll post them in an album on the page that links to the event, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab all of these posts because as you can see, people aren't really engaging. They're seeing it but they're skimming right over it, meaning Facebook is, is gathering this data and their algorithm is saying, oops, people aren't engaging, they're not interested, we're not gonna show this to as many people, it's not relevant. So we don't want that to happen. Um, so what we wanna focus on is the holiday sale event and posting the graphics that are gonna push people to the event and how to buy and the sale. So. Um, let me know if you have any questions on this. I know it can be kind of like a little overwhelming at first with like what to post and when. Um, and then I will I will actually send over these graphics to you in a second. And we can, the nice thing is that we can schedule the posts in advance. So that's awesome. So I will show you how to do that in just a second. 